What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another race analysis with Catch Our Vapors. We are at the uh, Mac Race Series Round 3. My name's Jared. This is Spencer. And we're going to do you another uh, short little clip. So first off, um, we had some technical difficulties with our GoPros, uh, total noob status. I only caught like 12 minutes of the race, and Spencer, you didn't catch any of it. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, man, we suck. Uh, There's a, yeah, several things like that happen. So this is probably three laps into the race. I start my uh, GoPro and we're starting to roll. So we've literally only got like 11, 11 minutes of this. So we're gonna kind of just give you a quick overview. And we do have footage of the final sprint, uh, which is pretty cool. But third round, Spencer, this is, uh, we're going the right-hand direction or counterclockwise. What, uh, what do you think? How'd you like the first part of this race? Yeah, we're going the right way. So I was happy. Um, yeah, I thought it was a great race and um, the pace was much more to what I was feeling. I don't know, maybe more in shape, I don't know. But we would get up this hill, uh, go pretty hard and then kind of coast. A uh, few times you see like us go hard and then pedal hard out of the turn and then everybody slows down and it's like, oh man, I should have probably saved a little watts there. Um, what do you think, did you experience that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely more predictable. It was more of a classic four or five race from what I've experienced. And so I thought it was super fun. You can see a guy here way up off the front doing a little bit of attack. And that was kind of the majority of the day. Guys were doing attacks. A couple of people were doing them in the wrong spots. And it would kind of come back to bite them in the butt. Uh, nothing would really stick. So, you know, fortunately, but unfortunately, we don't have much footage. But there really wasn't much to go on today other than the final last two laps which we didn't get um if you want to check that out i got chris's video we can link in the bio he's in that final sprint and breakaway group if you want some different analysis yeah i'm noticing there's a few videos popping up here and there i don't know if that's always been a thing but it's pretty cool to see everybody's perspectives yeah it seems like this year everyone's getting on the race analysis game which is really cool this series in my opinion uh needs some more publicity um it's on a close course it's you know you can't ask for more uh the track is very unique where it's got a long downhill and a and a big uphill which is a little bit different from your traditional crit courses but man to have a closed course that is super smooth and has some fun technical stuff as well is is awesome and i wish we'd get some more participation up in the uh higher categories like one two three and um masters there are a few more in this race i think uh the first time it was like 25 signed up um i think it was a little more than that and this one it felt like more people racing so um i enjoyed it yo check out this dog right here he's going like 124 <laughs> rpm son just he's, he's gonna attack maybe i don't know is so it was super fun um we had a little bit of an issue on the race towards the end of it where we had beginner rider uh, first crit ever and he ended up causing a pretty gnarly wreck um and it was not this cat right here actually on the red with the well, red socks coming up the side right there he actually caused a hard wreck going down that downhill turn when we're going like 30 35 miles an hour and he wrecked a guy and uh it was it was a yard sale the yeah guy, i looked back i saw it it looked uh, pretty brutal and then uh he came walking by after the race and yeah face all kind of scarred up i hope he's all right yeah the cat in the red socks that caused the wreck he was super humble about it and he walked around to almost everybody and said he was sorry um you know felt really bad about it but the dude in the pinarello that got wrecked was not having any of it um i think he like cracked his ceramic speed lower half jockey wheels of his derailleur um dude his bike the guy that wrecked had like a honestly like a six thousand seven thousand dollar bike like dude what are you doing in a cat four or five race racing that bike like dude go buy an aluminum race bike and save yourself some money and some heartache whenever you're getting in a um group of 30 and we're going elbow to elbow and everyone's like super new and green at racing you know i have no idea why he why would you race anything i'm like laughing because didn't you have you learned this from experience or something yeah i did <laughs> um but my bike isn't near as as expensive as that oh, okay yeah. so yeah i mean first round yeah I, I crashed but i mean that that guy's damage was literally double than what mine was yeah. so i think in this video right now you're saying uh for why for why oh yeah <laughs> so 
that was another thing. a lot of that. When the race would slow down and everything, you, everybody, since the track's so wide, um, people would go from two wide to four wide. And in, if you look at the Cat 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3 guys, they don't ever get as wide as we do. Mm-hmm. And it's really frustrating because when we go into this left-hand downhill right here, everyone's like super spread out. And uh, it's just really, there's just no need. And it's just because there's surges and everyone slows up. And it's just... I don't think that happened every the previous races. This is the first time I think we did a lot of kind of uh, slowing down and grouping like that. But I could be wrong. Yeah, and we had more. And you're right, we had more people this race too, which which um, increases that uh, probability. So we're going through this corner about 32 right now. I'm on Henry's wheel. Uh, we're rolling through Josh right here in the black and blue. He's on our left. We've got James right in front of him in the black bibs with the gray and yellow stripe. Um, those guys are super fun to race with. They're uh, really good, very predictable guys. They're super fun. Uh, me, Henry, Spencer, and James, uh, we all did a gravel race like the previous weekend, and it was super fun racing with everybody and uh, had a good time. So, But now we're back at the crit, trying to get some more, more points and hone our skills. Check this guy right here on the right. Get off of the track, bro. Um, how many times that happened, Spencer? Oh, we lapped, yeah, a few times. It was a few people we who come flying by. I don't know if that's normal or not, but when do you think is the point that you'd want to pe- take people off the track? Like well, you I mean, get lapped once, you get lapped twice. Like I mean, we're coming up that hill right at that transition, and we're going, you know, 25, 30 miles an hour. Um, yeah, that's the point. I definitely think after two getting lapped twice. I mean, the previous race I got lapped. Um, and kept racing. I didn't know that was kind of a uh, unspoken rule kind of pull off. So that was a learning experience. And, and it's all up to the race director and the um, official that's there as well. And they mentioned it before the race; they weren't going to pull anybody. But I don't think any of us had the idea that there was going. I think there was a junior, that gentleman we just passed, a um, a female, and maybe one other person. So maybe four total that we lapped multiple times. And there was a couple like times where it. It was a hindrance for us to go through, and, and I understand everyone's paying their money. They're all trying to get experience, but once you get dropped, you're essentially on a training ride out there by yourself. Um, I mean, I've been dropped before, and, and I pull off, and it's not fun. Like, you just waste your money, and um, you're only out there for a few laps with the group, and that's it. So, I don't know. I, I feel like next time we might want to try and push for that, like to, to have them pull people just for um, ease of mind for, for us whenever we start lapping them and we're going you know twice as fast as they are yeah and it was an issue at least a few times when we get wide so yeah maybe um yo check out this madonna son that bike is so fresh silver fade with a red decals super cool um that guy was up in the break a couple times yo check out this diamondback oh my god do you know those snakes are poisonous i never wanted to get close to that guy because that bicycle man i don't know why you hate on him i have one my gravel bike. I'm not hating on I'm just saying I'm scared of them, bro. Okay. That's Man. good. Oh, dude, Van Diesel? You know, to get one of those bikes, you have to watch Triple X and all the Fast and Furious movies. Did you know that? That's James' bike. That's him right there. I think it's so fresh. And, I literally uh, have no idea how you buy one. Shout out to him. I think Henry would like to give him a shout out, too, for his Strava names. Oh, yes. If you're not, on point. Yeah, if you're not following James on Strava, he has some of the best, like, one-liner Strava names. And we'll link his... Uh, Strava in the description. You can follow them if you want. Uh, they will definitely make your day. Uh, it's definitely needs to be on. Um, I forget the Twitter handle now. That does all the Strava stuff. It's I'll have to look it up too. But we've got Chris up here in the um, pink and purple kit. A uh, fun thing about that kit. That kit is actually from Alibaba. He told us about this the other day. It was hilarious. Um, they ordered a bunch of those off of Alibaba, and it looks for the quality like super great. Um, oh, you're the serious? price point. Yeah, no, I thought you were kidding. No, 100%. Like, he ordered them off Alibaba. Yeah. Um, who else we got? Um, there are a few new spaces that I thought I was surprised with how strong they were doing. And, and it was nice when they would, would pull through and you'd be able to stay behind them and feel confident. So I think this guy in front of us right here, he was, he was pretty good. That is Jason. Okay. Um, he's the dude that rides around the crit on his one wheel. Oh, oh look at oh. me. I'm weed eating some grass right there. We got a little. Hey, five wide, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, but this is uh, Jason right here. Okay. Uh, on the Cannondale, uh, he's out there getting some points, trying to get some experience, having fun. Um, 
but no man there was a a lot more teams it was pretty cool i think james teams they had like three or four members there was another team in a white and green kit that had two or three guys uh, so it was super cool because normally cat four or five you really don't see that much teamwork or team involvement um yeah, whether your, they work together i don't know where's your team why aren't you drafting right now uh, dude i don't know <laughs> we got a little bit of attack. Oh, just I can't kidding. Rem- just can't kidding. remember this guy's name. I'm just going to call the guy in the white kit with the black bibs. I'm going to call him Arrow Bro because he loves to get that, like, rest on his elbows going down the hill and just get super arrow for some reason in a crit race. So that's the only way I know remember how to remember him. Um, but, yeah, so back to your point, not really drafting too much in this race. I don't know why. I felt like it wasn't going fast enough and it wasn't going to be – that that beneficial for me so i just i just didn't really do it maybe i should have done it more and i would have felt felt better um so we're coming towards the end of our clip right here we're probably five laps left and uh, our footage cuts out if you look here we've got attack off the front on the downhill that is the dumbest thing you can do at this track um it's it, there's just no Look, you're up there, Spencer. Yeah, I'm going to cover it just in case. Yeah, you're, you're covering up, and, and literally, that's what me and uh, Josh are doing. We're just kind of following line, and we're just going to get in the draft and catch these guys. Like, there's no point on this massive downhill to try to attack unless you're going to have a ton of power and take it all the way up the uphill and try and try and hold that attack. It just doesn't work. The draft is way too good going down this, and you can recover way too easily. So... But uh, other than that, we're going to show you the final sprint clip here in a second. Uh, it was a sprint at the, I believe, two laps to go. They did it at the start finish line. Boom. On the elbow, son. Wow. <laughs> That's so gangster, man. I need to work on that. I'm going to show you one more time. Close finish. Yeah, it was close finish. So they were in a breakaway. Uh, we're coming through. You got Chris, guy in the white. You got Chin over in the blue kit. And then for the next group that chase group you got josh coming in second on that and we roll on through man um short and sweet guys hope you enjoyed it yeah i enjoyed it too see ya